Greetings, people of the internet. I'm Scott with CircWorks Art Lab. Welcome to the Underground Laboratory where we create robots, aliens, zombies, and other imminent threats to humanity. In addition to that, we also make comics. We're doing that on a daily basis because this is 100 Days of Making Comics. Round two, where I work on my creator-owned comic book project, Young and the Dead. This is the current issue, issue three. Then we've also got issues one and two. They're all available at my website at CircWorks.com. What is today? I said it's round two, right? So, what is, today is day, is it day 16? I believe it is. Today is day 16 of round two of 100 days of making comics, where I work on, I told you this, but what is this about? So, so Young and the Dead is a kids versus zombie story. It's like Goonies meets Night of the Living Dead. And that is the project that I'm working on right now. I'm in the middle of working on issue number four. So hopefully we can get that done, and by the end of this 100 days, I don't know if it'll be done, we'll see. Uh, that's, a, that's a tall order, but we'll definitely be further along, and hopefully soon we'll get that out to you guys, and you'll be able to get, get a copy of that. Um, that'll be available when it's done on my website. But I wanted to tell you some other things that I have on my website, just to give you, just to shill a few items, or just, just let you know about a few items. So... What we do here in the underground lair is we basically develop things that will help aspiring evil geniuses, super villains, mad scientists take over the world. It's a big goal, but a lot of people are, are trying, so we want to help them along. So some of the things we develop, uh, in addition to, we've got, we've, we've got, you know, mad science supply kits and different things like that, and we've got... We've got some very stylish mad scientist bow ties. We've got messenger bags, all that cool stuff. But I want to show you some of the prints and everything that we develop here. So if you got a mad scientist lab, we've got mad scientists at work. You can hang that up in your lab. Let's see. So if you're looking for if you're looking for some henchmen to help you, henchmen are crucial to taking over the world. It's very difficult to do it. It's very difficult to take over the world in general, but without henchmen, you can almost forget about it. But we've got henchmen wanted, this henchmen wanted print. These are some of our smaller prints, but we've got bigger prints too. So here's one. We've got some safety signs you can hang up in your lab. We've got warning. Failure to follow sa lab safety procedures may result in superpowers. That's one of our prints that we've got. And we want to inspire people too as well. So what will you create today? We've got this mad scientist. That's one of our prints. And this, I love this one because I, I just love the message. Because if you're drawing, there's a lot of people telling you, you can't, you, you can't, you can't make a living at drawing. You can't, you know, this and that. There's a lot of naysayers out there. So that's, this is our response to that. Haters hate, creators create. You got, you want to be the angry mob that hates or you want to be get Dr. Frankenstein that creates. We've got that up available at the website, CircWorks.com. And I'm also a big fan of giant machines that can stomp on cities and crush things and, <laughs> you know, kaiju and things like that. So anyway, so we've got this one. If you're also, I'm a big fan of hot stuff. I like sriracha. So we've got this sriracha mech, this mechanical rooster. This is available up at the website at CircWorks.com. And... Uh, this one I really like too. I like I I love these big robot mechs. So we've got this was an exclusive for Phoenix Comic Con, so you can't get it at any other comic conventions, but you can get it online. And we've still got a few more of these. They're limited edition, but it's Mega Phoenix Force. It's like it's my answer to like Voltron and all those all those you know Battle of the Battle of the Planets, all that cool stuff from way that early early anime from from back back in the in the days way back in the 70s and stuff even so we've got that 70s and 80s so anyway so i know you guys know if you've been following this you know about my comic book stuff but i just thought i'd share some of that so the other stuff that we do here in the underground layer we're not creating comics but today we are creating comics so let's see what's going on in the comic creation process by going to the parallelescope let's go to it all right, as far as Young and the Dead goes, things are progressing on the script. Uh, I, uh, I've made some decent progress today, even though I've got a little bit over 30 minutes, not much, but that seems to be you know, all the time I have to put into it. Now, I don't know if I should count the time that I'm, because I'm always thinking about the script and it's always in my head whether I'm driving to work or whatever. So 
but I'm kind of just counting the time that I'm either sitting here writing something down or translating it on the computer or whatever. So I don't know, but I'm not gonna count my brainstorming time and my time thinking, even though there is more time kind of going into it if you want to count that. Um, but I've got to I've got to put that aside today because I've got to get some orders out, and I got one I got an order for a bow tie that I, I have the tie done, but the band's not done. Um, so I gotta I've got to like take a break and like sew together a new band for that. So I'm gonna do that. Um, and then hopefully, hopefully, I don't know, later tonight, maybe put some more time in if I can. Um, other than that, uh, I'll have to put in uh, 30 minutes tomorrow, but that's what's going on. Still working on the script, so. I'm assembling some bow ties for my online store. So if you're curious, if you've never been to my store, uh, cirqueworks.com, I sell all kinds of geeky science themed stuff that uh, I think you'll be, you can kind of see some of the bow tie designs, but I sell all kinds of stuff on there. But uh, yeah, I'm just gonna put some of these together and then I gotta package them up. That's a super sped up look at the process of me creating my bow ties. I put a lot of care into them, but one thing that's really important that you also want to do if you're selling stuff online is to uh, add a little extra with that packaging and, and do some nice stuff, throw in a few extras and things like that. And so the sun sets on another day of making comics. Where we take our day and we say, so long, I'll see you tomorrow. That is all. Hey everyone, you've seen the process, now you can check out the story. Issues one through three of Young and the Dead are available at my website at cirqueworks.com. Also follow me on social media at the links listed below. Subscribe and check out some of the other videos in the series. There's much more to come.